So, you went on holiday? I went on a beach holiday and I went jogging every single morning. And this poor fisherman, I just saw him sitting there catching his one little fish and then he goes home to feed his family. Day after day, I thought, just I can enrich this guy's life. He's leading a simple, simple life and I'm obviously used to all the luxuries. And I suggested, why don't you catch two fish every single day? Why only one? So, the fisherman, I think, replied, but why should I catch more than two fish? Well, then you can eat as much as your family desires or until their tummies are full, and then you can sell the other fish to make money. But why? Well, if you buy twice as many fish or catch twice as many fish, you will have money and you will enrich your family's life. Okay, but why would I want to do that? Oh, then you can make more money to buy an extra fishing rod. Okay, so if I have no one extra fishing rod, but why do I want the one extra fishing rod? Then you can catch more fish, you can go home, feed your family, or whatever's left over, you can sell and make some money. And what do I want to do with money? Well, if you have more money, and eventually, then you can buy a boat. And then you've got a boat and two fishing rods and you can get people to work for you and you can start a big business and you still only eat what you need and then the rest you sell to make more money and then why then you can employ lots more people you can buy a whole fleet of ships and you can go out every day and catch tons and tons and tons of fish and make loads of money tons of money that sounds okay but why would i want to do that well, then you can retire, like me, and you can relax on the beach and spend quality time with your family. Interesting. What do you think I'm doing now? So, this is Pietru. Tell us about yourself. I'm a single mother and businesswoman from South Africa. I lead a very challenging lifestyle, always being caught up in a rat race and waking up every morning like a little ant running to work or running back again. And I just felt there was no satisfaction or self-satisfaction at the end of the day. You're like a sausage machine. You just churn out the work every day, the same thing over and over. Um, the type of industry I'm involved in is a short-term insurance broker and it's very little self-satisfaction there as well. Um, you basically, you're a complaints department. You sort out people's problems and that's what you do daily and daily. And then you tend to lose sight of um, what what is really important in life what brings you true happiness and going to bed at night and think oh i had a good day today you, you lose complete track of that so self-worth self-satisfaction all that has just gone down the drain it's just working like a little ant day in and day out no satisfaction whatsoever i have lost track of um Focusing on stuff that makes you truly happy, like laughing or just reading a book and spending good quality time with my children. And I'd really like to be there again. So I can totally relate to the fisherman story, you know. Just sit and relax and spend good quality time. And as sailing has been a lifelong passion, it's really a no-brainer. This is going to be the next episode of my life. Absolutely. Okay, and introducing Frick. Tell the people all about you. <laughs> so, we are definitely thinking of changing our life completely. Um, so, my consultancy took me to the United Nations, uh, where I was doing, I was basically an ICT, an Information and Communication Technologies Consultant, for very large voter registration systems, uh, civil registration systems, even pension fund registration, uh, election result management systems, very big population registers and also very important election results in about 24 post-conflict countries. So it was not easy living in those countries, it was also not easy working in those countries and you have to start from absolutely scratch built a data center, develop the software, implement the software, train the people how to use the software, and then there's elections, and, and elections normally don't shift election day. So the elections was very fast, hard paced, with hard deadlines that you just have to meet. 
being a consultant that needs to find a job every four months, between four and six months, I need to find a new job every four and six months. I had to be the best in my field. I had to be the most hardworking. I need to be the most productive, the most efficient. I was. I need to be willing to work 24 hours um, for a couple of days in a row, especially when elections is like three days from now and things are still not working and it's expected to be working. So it was it was a very tough one to stay ahead of my competitors. There's a lot of great software engineers out there is also trying to get work for the United Nations. So for me, I had to be on top of my game. I had to know the best technologies. I had to be in front. I need to upgrade my studies and that's why I went all the way to PhD. So, and I've been doing this for the last 15 years. That, this is a very tough one on you. Um, that makes me compete with the Jones. And that rat race was just getting to me. That, that race to be always the best, to always be there in front of the front line. So, it is I had fun times too, um, just to try and keep my sanity, but it is it's just like you go one step, one step higher, then your fun must be, must be so much more adrenaline, then your work must be so much more effective, then your fun must be more adrenaline. So it became to a point where me and even me both said, this has to stop. And, and the story, the fisherman story was coming all the time to my mind, that what? are we doing? We are running and rushing into this rat race and to do what? To spend quality time at the end of your life when you when you can actually try to spend quality time now. If you look at da Delos, no? if you look at the winds, if you look at yeah. La Vagabond, if you look at them, they have already quality time. So me and my brother again, at one time we decided we will test this theory about and that was in 2006 long before the winds and the vagabonds and Dallas oh maybe Dallas was already yeah, there it's 2006 then. so 2006 me and my brother Eben decided to go uh, we were part of a delivery crew so four people in a 40 foot catamaran and um, so I'm a little bit biased because it was also a leopard catamaran I'm I like those boats and we took the boat from Cape Town um, just four people of us, we took the boat to Miami, Fort Lauderdale. We crossed the Atlantic and just to see whether we can like it. That was a pretty hard first core one. It's not just around the cabbage patch uh, in the harbor or around the anchorage point. It was actually crossing the Atlantic Ocean. And we actually loved it. We really, really enjoyed it. It was, it was, it was fun and we could totally do this. Very recently, in 2016, it started to surface again that yes, we need to start doing the catamaran thing again or the boat thing. We didn't they immediately start off with a boat. We actually thought about a little wine, a vineyard, a little farm that has some vineyards on it. Like making a little bit of wine or having two milk cows and maybe a few goats or pigs and you know, living on a farm. Um, but we was thinking, okay, you, to live off the grid, you need to have solar panels. And, you know, it, 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 it kind of like migrated like a moth to a flame that we wanted to go back onto a catamaran. Or at least a boat. Um, we didn't know exactly the catamaran. We were talking about catamaran all the time, but we knew we need to actually do a quite a big research before we actually venture into that line. The urge to travel has been with me, I think, for as long as I can remember when I had a mind to remember. And I can't rem I don't know if it was the last to wonder or wondering what the last to travel will bring me, but I always permanently needed to explore and just to meet different cultures and different people. So you, you, your urge is always there just to, to be on the move the whole time. Uh, so this introduction video is more, it, it obviously will change over time, but the next couple of episodes that we're going to do is the, our thought process. How did we get to where we are today and in the future? It's now November already. We started our process last year, November, when we decided what to do. And, and we already, me and my brother and Peter, we already started selling our 
all all our properties in South Africa has been sold. Um, cars have been sold. Yeah, all the, yeah, the cars has been sold. The airplanes been sold. Even our paragliders been sold. So almost everything that we own, <coughs> basically everything that we own, except the shoes and the clothes that we are wearing, have been sold already. And um, so all the money we've put together, but we had to decide. And it's not, although we were biased to the catamaran, we still needed to make sure because like even will bring his whole family on a boat. So the safety thinks is going to be, not on our boat, they're going to have their own boat, but we had to select what is a safety feature. So we went through lots of websites, lots of YouTube things. A lot of research. A lot of research. And we will follow, we will make episodes of all of those processes for you guys with links to where we found all of these 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 um, research materials and, and and videos so what kind of boat the first one of course look, which is on everyone's mind was like do you want a single all or multi all and all the advantages and disadvantages of that and new boats or old boats yeah so. do we want a new boat or an old boat and for a very long time we were we were actually fixated on an, a second hand boat the old boat and then then through the research we it it became clear now we actually want maybe a different route to go. But how did we select that? And when we did select a boat, what size of boat did we want? So this this is going to be about that. Our journey till next year, June. June, July. So, so we'd like you to be part of our process. Um, learn through our mistakes possibly, or maybe advise us, or whatever. But just all this preparation until the day we set sail. We'd like to make you part of it. and join us it would be actually great if you guys advise so any we comments need. that you can find on any of the, our episodes please comment here below that's now a new thing for us comment below <laughs> how do no, they say need, yeah, link li yeah. like us there and link i don't know we will sort this out like later <laughs> support us on patreon like our pictures on instagram Follow us on Facebook to become part of our social active experience.